Brett Okamoto from ESPN alongside Eugene Behrman, uh, the head coach, obviously, of middleweight champion Israel uh, Adesanya. And coach, uh, always, you know, you don't want to lose, but uh, <laughs> this was a competitive fight. You know, Israel seemed to, to t handle the loss well. How are you feeling right after the fight? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm happy with the way Israel's handling the loss, but I knew he would handle it like this. You can't. You know, he got outplayed. Like uh, Jan, at, and at the end of the day, those two takedowns at the end were what made the difference. Um, Jan comes from a great team, like an underrated team, a team that flies under the radar, but I knew how good they were. I knew that they were able to come up with good game plans and good strategies. And look, the winner, to the winner goes all the spoils of war. So Jan gets to, you know, he, this is his night. He gets to celebrate. It's his title. We have to eat some humble pie, uh, you know, head down and go back and reassess back to New Zealand and uh, do what we do best, which is uh, come back from losses. That's something we're really good at. How did the fight play out uh, compared to what you were expecting coming in? Um, no, the, the, the first three rounds were a little closer than I expected, but I, I felt Israel edged the first three. Um, I just heard that um, Jan... Uh, got 10 eights in the last two, which was probably the, the difference. But I, I'm not sure. I need to look at the scorecards. But yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I, it is what it is. I can't complain much. With, with if, obviously, the judges thought that there was enough damage to be done in those last rounds for uh, to warrant a, a 10 eight. I felt Israel, although he wasn't getting up, he was mitigating the damage. There was nothing like he's, if you look at him now, there's no damage at all. And that's the thing when you're on top. Um, you always have a choice on top. You either hold and you're really tight, but mm. then you don't do much damage, or you give up space and do much damage. So I felt that Jan was on the holding part. I felt that he felt if he gave Israel space, Israel was going to recomp or get up. Mm. So it is what it is. Like This is Jan's night, and a uh, great team, great fighter, and um, may he reign for a long time. How much concern did you have coming in that the wrestling could be an X factor in this fight? Um, no, nah, I, I wasn't that concerned, to be honest. Like... Those two shots that Israel went down, I, I, don't, I mean, we have to have a look at the video, but those were the those were the deepest I've ever seen anybody get on Israel. Mm. Uh, I've, and, and we have to have a look at just exactly what, what happened. Was Israel a bit too eager? Was he too heavy on his feet? But I've never seen anybody get that deep, and I don't know what accounts for that. But, um, I mean, those, those were excellent takedowns. When you get in someone... When you get in deep on someone who's that hard to take down, mm -hmm. man, Jan, Jan did a great job. Do you think this ends um, your ambitions or Izzy's ambitions to fight at a higher weight class? Or do you think those are still open moving forward? Uh, it doesn't end, no, no, it doesn't end anything for Israel. Israel's the type of guy that is, is, dares to be great. He wants to do things that no one else has done. So it, it ends this chapter for now. I'm sure he's keen to go back to middleweight and, and, and uh, look after his division there. But I'm sure at some stage, just the way Israel is and, and how this will this will eat away and, uh, as a chip on his shoulder, I'm sure mm -hmm. that he'll want to come back and have another crack at this. Last question for you. How motivated will he be to go back to 185 and face potentially one of those guys that he's already beat? How, how motivated can he get up for that, do you think? Oh no, this is super motivated. Like he, he's already, he's, he's one of the first things he said to me was, "Yep, uh, we, we, you know, we, we reassured him that we were proud of him for what he was doing, and he said to me, let 'Let's, let's go back down to middleweight and clear that out, and then reassess what's going to happen after that.' So, yeah, he's, he's keen. It was a pleasure watching him fight. He looked great, even in, in a loss, and I no. uh, appreciate your time. Thank after you, sir. Loss. Thank you.